I'm going to jump over to another type of exercise or activity that you will encounter in your online class. This is um, an uploading and downloading practice and sometimes your instructor will put this type of activity in your getting started learning module if they're going to be using it throughout the semester. In this case your instructor is going to want you to download a document and then upload it with maybe answers, maybe it edited, uh, something that might um, have to be done to the assignment. In this case, you're going to be downloading something from the Blackboard server and then uploading it back to the Blackboard server in a um, student Dropbox area. Uh, sometimes your instructor will want you just to um, maybe upload something that you have written. But again, we're going to practice the um, uploading and downloading. Okay, so I'm going to click on the actual assignment. Notice that you already have an attached file, so that means you'll probably be downloading this. Again, it's going to vary from instructor to instructor, um, but this is a good technology skill to know how to do in any case. So we come to the assignment drop box, and there's um, some assignment information, name, instructions, a possible due date. In this case, this is pretty open-ended points possible and the assignment files and I just want to scroll down there's also a submission box sometimes your instructor will use the assignment drop box where you can just um, maybe type in your answers here um, your submission here and then you would be done with that um, sometimes again your instructor might want you to attach a file and then make sure you scroll all the way down to the bottom um, where you would see submit and that's when you're done. So please be careful, read all the directions that your instructor has for you about this particular assignment. So in this case, we're going to download this file first. So there's a couple ways to do that. You can right click on the, um, the actual attachment and save target as. Dialog box opens up. Um, you're going to have to make sure you know where you save your document. I usually have a folder on my desktop where I can download documents. If you don't have a folder, you can come up here to this little icon, the folder icon, create a folder. I'm going to just move this over here for you. And I'm just going to say class assignments. That way I can download my assignments here each time. Make sure I open up that folder. And now I'm inside. I opened up that folder by double clicking. Notice that I have the file name in here and it's a rich text format. Uh, most of your instructors will want you to save in that universal file format and they will give you instructions on how to do that. So now I've downloaded that and I would go to that document on my desktop and I would open it up and uh, follow the instructions. And then when I'm done with that, um, so that process, let me just go back, is called downloading a document. Um, another way you could have opened this is just to click on the document itself and a dialog box will open up, open, save, or cancel. So if you opened it up from here, the only thing about that is it's read only and you could not make any changes. Um, maybe the particular document your instructor wants you to download, you have to do something to. So in that case, always save. I'm just going to cancel this for right now. I'm back in to the assignment drop box and I'm ready. Um, we're just going to have to um, assume that I have opened that document and I have followed instructions. Maybe I've written something on that document and resaved it. Now I'm ready to reattach it to um, the student Dropbox. So I'm going to make sure I'm on my desktop. Didn't open quite to my desktop, so I'm going to make sure I'm there by navigating through with these buttons. Um, this is also um, a good time to think about file management. So I'm going to look for that folder that I labeled class assignments and I'm going to double click to open it. And there's my document. And notice how I just clicked on it and closed the dialog box, clicked OK. Again, I'll show you because you can do multiples. 
clicked on open and then it came in here so you can do multiple assignments um, and if say if I um, uploaded the incorrect assignment I can just simply click on do not attach dialog box is going to make sure pops up and make sure I'm clicking um, do not attach and I know what I'm doing so I'm going to say OK it disappears and now I'm going to come down to the bottom I can make some comments this is an A assignment um, any type of a, a comment that you want to make and then you're going to go down here to the very bottom and you're going to submit so just to review as we're submitting you downloaded something from the blackboard server in the student dropbox area and then you uploaded it back to this area so sometimes you're going to close this and you're going to come back to it later because you need to do something um, with that particular um, assignment so now that I have um, submitted that we're going to have some uh, submission history that I can go over make sure that I have attached the correct file and I can do a new submission if I haven't or if I had something else that I needed to upload or attach upload and attach are kind of a word that's used interchangeably depending on how your instructor um, provides the instructions but again upload is taking something from your desktop your jump drive and uploading it into the blackboard classroom most of the time your instructors are going to have you do it through the student dropbox or assignment dropbox uh, they might have a particular name for it then I'm going to click OK to go back and now I'm back in the same area that I was before when I found that assignment uploading and downloading practice